Let's study the ready stance and the head cover punch block. Okay, so I'll be here on my ready stance with my partner, and then he will throw the hook. I will use the head cover punch block from here to the safe clinch and take the fight to the ground. So to prepare your ready stance, you pick your strong leg, half step to the side, half step back. With your back hand, you cover. The leading hand, you cover, but you also measure the distance. You don't want to stay on the striker range. Okay, and this time, let's say, he just runs forward into you and throw a wide punch here, okay? So when you see the punch coming, you will just use the head cover punch block. See, I just grab behind my head, close my elbow here. Watch. Don't use your arm to block the punch. That's not the idea. You will just raise your arm here. The reason why you also close your elbow is because you want to prevent. Let's say you thought it was a wide punch, but actually he's throwing a straight one. You might be safe even with the same block, but if you open your elbow, you might get caught. Okay, so I am here, my right stance, the punch comes. I protect myself here. At the other side, I did not drop my hand. I'm still covering my jaw, okay? Now let's work our way to the safe clinch. So I'll wrap his arm. I was blocking, my elbow goes above his arm and wrap. The first catch is with my armpit on his wrist. Watch, can even drag him. So that's a pretty tight grip. The second one is behind his elbow joint. No, I'm not holding the uniform. For self-defense, we work on his body, okay? So after that, the other side, I am protected. I'll just drop this hand after I get close to him, my head is safe, then I go for the hip. From the hip to the safe clinch. Safe clinch is when I step sideways with him. We call it the safe clinch because we are controlling the arm, no punch. My head is on his chest, no head butt. I'm pulling his hip in, no knee strikes or kicks. The only thing he can try is to use the right arm. You see the one behind my back? But as he's going, I can always spot down and get his back. Safe clinch. From here to the hip throw. One, the first step, my toes point into the direction I want to flip him. The next step is quick. I open some space and step right in with my second foot. The catch is done with my hip underneath his bell level and I bump him up. If you place your hips right, should not feel his weight. Keep your grips, rotate your upper body. See, I look over my right shoulder. I'm pulling up his arm, helping my partner to break his fall. After that, knee in the belly to control him on the ground. Actually, it's my shin on his belly. Good posture, hips forward. Good balance here, that's why my legs are standing up. Pushing his neck, so his back is flat making it very hard for him to escape, pushing this wrist away. One more time. <clears throat> Let's say this time, the punch comes with the other hand. No problem. I am here measuring the distance. If he throws a wide punch, it would be the same thing. Watch. Block, then I will. Wrap his arm, get closer to him, because once my face is safe here, I can drop my hand to his hip. Okay, from here to the safe clinch. Know how I am controlling his hip, it will change. One, now watch, my right hand, from here, it will slide a little bit. That gives me enough space to 
place my hip for the hip throw. See, my right hand's not that deep now. Hips will catch. Watch that. You should not use your legs for the throw. You need to move your hip. See, half of my hip is outside. I turn my heels so my hip follows. Bumping him up. Knee the belly right away. 